Hi, this is Zach Colzerud with Apex 360. I'm here at Chicago Midwinter 2018, and I'm with Eric Bennell from ProSites. Eric, how are you doing today? Doing well, thanks for having me. How's your show going so far? Uh, it's been nice and steady, so no complaints there. <laughs> now, Eric is an expert in dental marketing on the digital side, so we're talking about trends here. Um, specifically, I asked, what's different this year than last year? And you told me three different things. And the first one was really um, kind of software as a service. Um, tell, tell our audience what that means exactly and how it, how it impacts marketing. Yeah, so the SaaS-based model, it's been you know, taking over over the last five years or so. But you know, previously, someone would spend money on a website. They wouldn't really invest in continual maintenance or really other services on top of it. So five years would go by, they would need to update it again. Right. The market's really evolving into this software as a service SaaS model that allows consumers to always have the latest features and updates to their website or any marketing product. So basically there's been kind of a big shift to paying, leaving it, and then kind of updating later down the road to always having a company monitoring and updating your website. Now that leads into the second trend that we talked about, which was um, analytics and kind of the deliverables. And say I'm a dentist and I pay, you know, X amount of dollars each month for for a company like you guys uh, to manage some of my digital marketing. I, it sounds like there's now a higher expectation about you know, what am I getting for that money? Yeah, especially with like the market saturation and more providers, marketing providers coming into the space, you know, there's services all over the place. But when you're investing in a marketing service, right, there's really only one purpose is to drive more revenue to your business or to kind of enhance your brand reputation, which will then turn into more revenue for your business. So right now, the main concern that I hear throughout the dental industry is that we're spending X thousand dollars on marketing per month, but we have no visible metrics to track, are these new patients? How much am I really billing these patients? So really giving dentists high level insights into exactly where their money's going and what it's producing for them is really the trend that we're seeing, is show me the proof. Right, so you guys have had a chance to work out this problem and how you approach it. Can you tell me a little bit about how ProSites approaches this? Yeah. So, we built what's called an ROI tracker, return on investment. And what we do is we'll integrate with your patient management software. And then so when someone calls your practice from a certain marketing channel, let's say it's a pay-per-click advertisement, that we're gonna be able to track exactly that call and then sync up with their database to see, is this number in your patient management software? Is this a new patient or not? Mm -hmm. And so once we've identified and tagged them as a new patient, then we can track how much they've billed and how much they've created in treatment plans. Okay. What that does is it gives you an exact figure or an ROI calculation of, I spent X dollars on this marketing channel and this was my return for X marketing channel. So how do you communicate that to the dentist? Is it through a dashboard or a monthly report? Yeah, so it's a kind of a broad spectrum of things. So we obviously do reporting, kind of reviews with the client to kind of give them context to it. Right. But yeah, we have a really good dashboard that will just show you insights into here's your marketing channels, here's the patients who have came in through each marketing channel, and you've just got exactly what you're billing and planning and treatment plans. So dentists really respond well to it because it holds us accountable and <laughs> allows them to feel confident in their sure. investment. Well, I know there are, uh, I, I see a lot of kind of one-man shops opening up in, in your area, uh, in, in this area of the industry, um, but it seems to me that um, things are changing pretty quickly and the people who are doing this better have a team of people, um, th those, those people have an advantage, um, and, and having a larger base of dentists to kind of track results with. And that, that kind of leads me to the third thing, which was pay-per-click advertising. And um, how are you seeing trends in that area and just general kind of money I threw at Google to get results in terms of rankings or, or my uh, you know, site visible to the right people? What are you seeing in that area? Yeah, I mean, and you hit on something perfect too with having a team. Like we have 15 years of dental data 
to back up kind of efficiencies and best practices. So, you know, that does play a huge impact into your ability to deliver quality work. Um, with pay-per-click in particular, there's been a huge shift. So like back in the day, everyone, and still to this day a little bit, people are wary of an advertisement. If you have the green box that says ad, right. you're, you're wondering, you know, someone had to pay for that, so maybe there's a conflict of interest. So you're talking like in a search result, if it has a little green box, I'm the first one up there, but it says ad, so I'm gonna skip. Exactly, so, but trust is really increasing in pay-per-click advertising, especially on Google. So Google spent a lot of time and resources investing in quality advertisements so that it doesn't disrupt the user experience. So really what they're trying to do is make sure that when you're searching for something, if they're displaying an ad, it's just as relevant as whatever the organic search term is. And what that does is it allows Google to maintain and enhance the customer, the user experience while also making money off their advertisements. And what's happening is because the ads are better, people are trusting them more and the usage, like the amount of clicks per impression when someone sees an ad and the amount of times they click once they've seen it, it's gone up tremendously because of Google's investment in that. So I, I have a kind of a question that spins off of that. Um, I read somewhere that and it takes quite a bit of time now um, or dentists are changing their point of view in terms of like how long it takes to get a digital brand out there or how, get your brand out there in the digital space. If I'm a dentist kind of just getting into this game or maybe I'm you know kind of floundering around in it, what, am I, what should my expectations be in terms of you know I'm investing in pay-per-click, I'm investing in my website, I'm investing in a marketing plan before I'm starting to get recognized and see new patients and revenue? Well, yeah, that's, it's always tough when you're new, starting out, building your brand up. Um, really, unless you buy into a practice that has a great referral base going, your only option is to get out there and, you know, let the community know that your services are available and kind of display the quality of those services. So it does take a while, but I would say the investment is necessary. If you're in any market where there's over 10 dental practices, by not investing in your brand and really trying to solidify your digital footprint, you're gonna be playing at a disadvantage for years to come and more than likely you're gonna eventually hit that tipping point where you decide I need to invest in this. So if you have the financial means, talk with an experienced branding and marketing company, really work with them to fine tune what your message, what your company ethos is and you know, take the leap of faith in realizing that investing in that brand and that digital footprint, your online presence is going to pay dividends in the long run. Last question here. What are people asking about at the show? It's been a fairly busy show, seen a lot of foot traffic. What are dentists asking you? What are they interested in? That's an interesting question because <laughs> it's, it's, it's a broad range, you know, dentists are everybody. Um, honestly, a lot of what we've been hearing is show me the proof like when it comes to online marketing that's what we hear is i'm spending these dollars i don't know what's going on i know that i got a lot of calls but would i have got them anyways right and so that's really the biggest trend the biggest complaint the biggest pain point is show me the proof <laughs> that's what we hear and that's what keeps you guys busy as a company making sure that happens exactly. yeah all right appreciate the update eric good Great. talking to you Thank